Anyway, we're going to be pinpointing some rain chances in the coming days. We're also talking about the tropics, this area of low pressure, not quite tropical yet. Once it moves into the northern Gulf of Mexico, it will take on some tropical characteristics. It could even get the name Barry as a very weak tropical storm at best. Here's the good news in the bottom line. We're going to see this thing quickly move away from Florida in the coming days, moving into the northern Gulf for the end of the week and then through the weekend over into Texas and Louisiana. And even for them, again, we're not talking about a major storm. Could be a tropical storm, but it could only be a tropical depression. The Hurricane Center giving it an 80% chance of development within the next five days, a 40% chance within the next two days. Bottom line, it's moving away, but we will increase our rain chances to 70% every single afternoon this week. Part of the reason is the proximity of that system to Florida, even though it's going to move away. Here is our risk of severe weather for today. The main threat would be flooding as we see up to three inches of rain add up very, fairly quickly later in the afternoon. So here's the radar as we scan the skies. Most of us are dry, but we're seeing a little bit of rain there for Cape Canaveral Kennedy Space Center. Much of that now beginning to fizzle out altogether. So it's time for the biking and boating forecast as we take you to it with rain chances this afternoon. Of course, not a good idea to get on the bike. So if you're going to do that, try to do it for the first part of the day and then watch out after lunchtime for rain chances to go all the way up along the coast there in Daytona Beach to 60%. Waves for boaters up to about three feet. Air temperature 91. So it's going to be hot. Short sleeves, if not no sleeves on the bike heading out and enjoying today into tonight. But here's a look as we take you into those temperatures right now. We're at 76 in Orlando. Here is your pinpoint accurate forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Dell Air Heating and Air Conditioning. And as we take you through the day, we see a high of 91 with a 70% coverage inland. Again, I just pointed out that 60% coverage of rain along the coast today as we see the sea breeze action. Then on into tonight, after 8 o'clock, rain chances down to 30%. And there it is. You see the moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. A little bit of East Coast sea breeze action, but it does look like our beaches will be wet into the afternoon and evening today. So again, Daytona Beach, watch out if you're getting on a bike. Here are those temperatures today 90 for the high in Sanford 91 in Leesburg 90 in Melbourne. Let's get results with your seven day forecast and rain chances again staying high at 70% across the board every day this week by the weekend on Saturday a 50% coverage 40% rain chances on Sunday depending on that system developing in the Gulf. It could actually suck the moisture away and lead to lower rain chances for us heading into the end of the weekend.